Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about five lies that you believe about everyone else. Let's get into it. Now the first lie is everyone else is normal. Now this is completely false, but yet I've been sent so many messages something saying something like, oh, I'm the only awkward one, or I'm the weird one, how do I, well, you know, how do I fit in, and all this kind of stuff. Everyone is weird, everyone is awkward. And when you realize that, it's actually a freeing thing to be like, actually, I can just be me and who God created me to be with all my quirks, with all my, <laughs> you know, ticks, it's okay because God created you to be that way with your personality. Number two is everyone else is good at something important. Now, for a long time, I thought I was cursed with the gifting of averageness. Um, it, it was like I was average across the board and everything. I wasn't super good or I wasn't super bad. And it was frustrating because a lot of my friends seemed like they were really good at like violin or like swimming or like basketball or hockey and or math. And it was just like me, I was just average. And I think a lot of us can get in this mindset of saying, oh, we're not really good at anything important. But the fact is, is that we are all gifted in some different ways. I think a lot of us can believe this lie that we are not good at anything important because the fact is God has given us all very specific gifts, but it takes time and introspection and asking other people to help you identify those gifts that you have, like gifts of encouragement, gifts of, you know, serving other people, gifts, not only like talents, like, oh, I'm good at like basketball or hockey or math or something like that, but maybe just like, I'm really good at understanding or listening. And those are really important gifts too. So don't think that you're not good at anything because that's not true. It just takes time analyzing uh, and asking around and identifying those gifts. Now the third lie is everyone else is thriving in their walk with God. Now, if we just looked at social media, we'd think, oh, everyone's having great, you know, Bible studies in the morning and everyone's just thriving on the word and they're not having any doubts or not. They're not struggling in their faith at all. But the fact is, is that not everyone is, you know, thriving in their faith. And when you believe that everyone is, it can be discouraging to you because you're just a regular person and regular people have doubts and regular people have struggles and have hard things and struggle to read the Bible and struggle to pray. That's a real thing that real people have to deal with. And when we believe the lie that it's like other people don't go through that, it can be damaging. So, but that's not true. It really isn't true. Everyone goes through these tough things and not everyone's faith is thriving. There's seasons of, you know, tough seasons, but then there's really good seasons. But it's important not to dwell on any one of those, but continue to have faith in God despite how we feel or despite the rut that we may be in, but get out of it and continue to pursue God. And that's the important part. Don't believe that everyone's, um, you know, walk with God is thriving, but understand that there's going to be tough things, but there's going to be joyous things and we can work through those with Christ. Now, the fourth one here is everyone else is free from mental issues. Now, when you look into yourself, you see, oh man, I got a lot of issues. Maybe they're trust issues, anger issues, issues with anxiety, issues with depression, issues with, you know, uh, wrong thinking, disoriented thinking. Um, you're overwhelmed and you see these things within yourself and you're like, oh man, why don't other people go through this? I must be the only one that experiences this. And for so long, it was that way. People kept these things within themselves and they're like, I'm not going to you know, reach out for help or um, just, I'm, I'm just going to assume that everyone else doesn't experience these, these things. But the fact is, is that they do. Everyone experiences these things and we can, when we can come to terms with that, we can begin to understand that it is together that we're going to work through these issues with Christ. So whether it's, you know, anger issues, issues with anxiety, trust issues, I think we should all be aware that everyone goes through these things. But that doesn't mean that we should try to stay that way or take those things on as labels. We should continue to look for truth 
in the midst of our struggle and faith, continue to have faith in God despite the difficult things that we have to battle through. But don't get discouraged in thinking that you're the only one that has to deal with this. You're not alone. That's number four. Okay, now number five. Do you ever think or feel like everyone else knows what they're doing or supposed to do? Sometimes uh, it felt like for me like everyone was on a specific trajectory that had been laid out uh, maybe beforehand by their parents or they had set up for themselves early on and they were just following coasting along and their life was on track and it was going to be great but yet you felt like you were spiraling out of control with so many paths and options and you're just overwhelmed and confused what am i going to do why does it seem like everyone else know where they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do why is it so hard for me but actually that's not true that's a lie that we can believe and I think sometimes it can make us feel a little bit better or you know give us a little bit of self-pity like oh why is it just me but it's not it's not everyone has to deal with this stuff everyone has doubts about their direction everyone has difficult conversations about where they're gonna be going next or what they should be doing um, think about for me there's often in a battle inside of I want to do this but yeah I feel like I'm called to this or maybe I should be doing this or but I feel like or I choose or I'm calling and all this kind of thing there's different paths we can always take but the fact is is that if we are attentive to what God has to say in our lives through his word through prayer developing that relationship with him through those things we are becoming more in tune with God's will and with what God wants for us and but it's always a it's always a task of reorienting ourselves in a position where we feel and sense God's calling in you're like okay this isn't quite right okay I'm gonna adjust a little bit but it's never like oh I know exactly what I'm supposed to doing and I'll do it for the rest of my life because there's always things that come up there's always difficulty in those things and it's never that black and white and if it was we wouldn't need to have faith in God there's a lot of these things where if it was easy we wouldn't need to trust God we wouldn't need to fervently go to him and prayer we wouldn't need to pursue a relationship with him but we do because it is tough we cannot do this on our own we do not know where we're going we do not know what we should be doing and that's when we can trust in him and seek him for that direction that's the fifth lie that sometimes we believe about everyone else um, if there's another lie here that I did not mention in this video leave it down below in the comments below what is another lie that we believe about everyone else? Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you're interested in watching more videos like this. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.